know Kempe Gowda as the founder of Bengaluru City and our hearts warm up and we are overjoyed every time our plane lands in the airport and it, it's announced that welcome to Kempe Gowda International Airport. Kempe Gowda was a far-sighted ruler who as a visionary erected four pillars, watchtowers at distances much further away from the center of the city that he founded and expressed the intention that Bangalore should grow that large. Bangalore has grown that large and go grown way beyond Kempe as aspirations, but we still remember the foundation that he laid for the prosperity of the city. He invited professionals from many parts of India to come and settle in Bangalore city and even today the different petes of the inner city are named after these different professions. He erected numerous monuments and temples in Ahalsuru, in Magadi, around the region. You find wonderful archaeological <coughs> monuments erected by Shri But most importantly, he erected water tanks to capture the rainwater, to harvest it and to ensure that this dry region would never be short of water for drinking, water for agriculture, and in this way laid the foundation for the prosperity of the agriculture and for the larger region overall. We are very, very proud that the Karnataka government just last year has established the Kempe Gowda Heritage Authority to create a heritage circuit to restore the monuments established by Sri Kempe Gowda. Finally, I welcome each and every one of you here, leaders from Karnataka, leaders from the Vakaliga community, members of cousin communities from elsewhere in India, every member of the media represented here, and every one of you who is here to join us in this evening celebrations of one outstanding warrior and ruler, Sri Kempe Gowda. Enjoy the evening. Thank you. Also, the president of Kempe Gowda Foundation, New Delhi, Mr. B.L. Suresh, will be presenting this portrait to our beloved president. At the outset, I prostrate before the lotus feet of Sri Nirmalananda Swamiji. I, I am honored to welcome His Excellency, the President of India. We are proud and we feel honored to welcome on stage and their presence here is giving us more strength to carry on our activities of the foundation. Our former Prime Minister, Sri Devagodaji, Sri the Cabinet Ministers, Sri Anand Kumarji, Sadan Gaudaji, our beloved uh, Nanjavanath Swamiji, uh, MP Putraju, and Sri HM Revan. I welcome you all for this August gathering. We are very happy to have you here. 
The foundation was named after a great administrator. As you already know, that Kempegoda was the founder of the Silicon City, which has overtaken the virgin Silicon City today as the IT capital of the world. And the foundation is one year old, and we want to encourage students from Karnataka who appear for the civil services examinations, who come to Delhi in search of success so that we can provide them facilities to stay and pursue their career. The main objectives of our foundation, sir, is extending, extending financial and necessary supports for the eligible, economically weaker students coming from Karnataka, aspiring for central competitive examinations conducted by UPSC. Also, extending financial support for needy students of Karnataka who are studying in the prestigious colleges of Delhi. And to encourage the culture of Karnataka and to honor the persons of Karnataka origin who have achieved greater success so that it can motivate the younger generations to achieve more success. And also to publish books which can take the name of Kempegoda to greater heights in the coming generations. I am honored to stand here before you to welcome you all and to say the aims of our foundation in front of this August gathering. Thank you. When we requested His Excellency President of India to grace this occasion and to inaugurate the national festival of Nada Prabhu Kempe Gauda, he not only readily agreed, but despite his very hectic schedule, we all know yesterday morning he laid foundation stone to Bengaluru Ambedkar School of Economics in Bengaluru, banquet hall of Vidana Sauda. And from there he went to Pune for uh, many programs. From Pune, he has just now landed, not even gone back to Rashtrapati Bhavan, directly came to inaugurate this national festival. Therefore, I request every one of you, my dear friends, to stand up and give a standing ovation to the President of India with a huge applause. Joragi Chapale Mukantra. My dear friend, uh, Honorable Member of Raj Sabha, Rajiv Gowda, and uh, Suresh, they have spoken about the festival and Nada Prabhu Kempe Gowda. I don't want to take much time of yours because we are all very eager to listen, listen to two great personalities, one the President of India himself, another Sri H.D. Deva Gaudaji. We want to listen to both of them. But I want to mark only three things. Whenever I read about Nada Prabhu Kempe Gauda, which I am doing from my childhood, three things always impressed me. And I want to bring that to the kind attention of His Excellency President of India. Number one, his urban planning, his founding of Bangalore in, 19, in uh, 1532, 600 years back, is the first case in the history of modern cities of the world that he created an environmental friendly urban capital. If we can say there is one father of smart cities in the modern world, it is Nada Prabhu Kempe Gowda. Seven rivers, thousands of lakes, connecting king canals, Raja Kaluways, balancing reservoir, 
3,000 feet above mean sea level, creating such a capital. He was a sub-chief of Vijayanagar Empire. He used to serve the emperors of Vijayanagar. And it is said he got the inspiration from Vijayanagar emperors to build another Vijayanagar. Vijayanagar in those days was resplendent with glory and prosperity. He wanted to recreate another Vijayanagar in southern part of Karnataka, that is Bengaluru. And the Vijayanagar Nada Prabhu Kempe Gauda created has become Vijayanagar for eternity, which has become world famous. Therefore, our, my friend Raju Gauda also narrated that rain harvesting, harvesting the every day drop of the rain god given bounty into the various tanks, reservoirs, then into Raja Kaluves and sustaining them. I think it is a marvelous thing. I want to submit before the Honorable President, I was going to the British Gadgeteer. In Br British Gadgeteer, sir, in 1800, the temperature of Bengaluru during April, May was 16 to 18 degrees. Temperature of Bengaluru that was built by Nada Prabhu Kempe Gowda during winter used to be minus six, minus seven. And Bengaluru used to have apple orchards. And unfortunately, because of the global warming, climate change, that Bengaluru is touching 35 degrees, 40 degrees. Therefore, I think we should take a leaf out of the lessons of Nada Prabhu Kempe Gowda, how to get back that nature's glory, salubrious climate to Bengaluru back. Secondly, when uh, his uh, minister asked Nada Prabhu Kempe Gowda, when he was deciding the location for this great city, what type of city he is envisioning, whether he wants a city of victory, city of knowledge, city of prosperity, Nada Prabhu Kempe Gowda says, I want a city of dharma, dharma the Dharma da urak beku Bengaluru, he said. Dharma means not sect. He said it should be a city of righteousness. If the righteousness is there, there will be peace and harmony. If peace and harmony is there, there will be education. There, there will be science and technology. If science and technology is there, then there will be trade and commerce and development and progress. Then there will be always happiness. That was the great vision of Nada Prabhu Kempe Gowda. And uh, ultimately, President Sir, Nada Prabhu Kempe Gowda also wanted Bengaluru as a great center of trade and center, especially for the surrounding sons of the soil. Because Kadlekai Parishek, he started a very big uh, mela 500 years back of selling groundnuts, which were cultivated by the farmers surrounding Bengaluru, that area. And uh, the heart and core of Bengaluru, which I, represented, I represent from last six times, we have Arale Pete, we have Targu Pete, we have Akki Pete, means all the trading centers was brought into the core of Bengaluru. Therefore, Nada Prabhu Kempe Gowda, 600 years back, created such a capital, such an urban center, which can be an icon, a global icon even today. Therefore, it is our great honor, sir. You are coming, you are bestowing, you are gracing, you are inaugurating this national festival. He is commemorating, not only commemorating, honoring that great ruler and city builder, our Nada Prabhu Kempe Gowda, Thank you, sir. Jai Hind, Jai Karnataka, Jai Bengaluru, Jai Nada Prabhu Kempe Gowda. We are fully aware of the fact that at present nearly 35% of the population are living in cities. 
It is said that 2040, 50 percent of the people, they may live in cities. As on today, we are experiencing so many issues which makes us impossible to live in cities. A man about five decades back who had that foresight in the coming days, so many things may happen in cities. So he had a vision, he had that foresight, he gave so many solutions for the issues that we are experiencing today. Your Excellency, you may be fully aware of the fact that the people in the city, they are facing, there is shortage of drinking water, the garbage which has put us in such an alarming condition, we are not in a position to move here and there inside the city. Health concerns, unable to resolve so many issues which have arisen out of the health concerns, infrastructure, growing cities. About five decades back, knowing fully well that the coming days so many issues will come out. Kempe Gowda, that visionary leader, gave all the solutions. Even today, really I want to congratulate the Kempe Gowda Trust because they wanted to give a solution to the country, they wanted to give a solution to the state. For that reason, they wanted to give the ideas of Nadapabu Kempe Gowda through our national capital, Delhi, through all the states across the country and throughout the <laughs> politicians who should learn, who should innovate, who should have a research and find out the problems, uh, solutions for the problems. We, I would like to place on record a few things that has been carried out during his tenure about five decades back. Safety and security, it's a great concern for us today. He himself was taking much interest on how the areas in and around Bangalore should be safely and the people of that area should all safety measures at that time. He himself used to go on right. He himself used to look after each and every corner of Bangalore and every people, there was no law and order problem at all because his own initiation has gave us such a strength that no untoward incident could happen in Bangalore. We have seen the democratic setup at present we are enjoying today. It was properly defined during his tenure. He had a council of ministers, eight ministers were there. They have been entrusted with separate portfolios wherein they should study, they should find out solutions, and they should carry, carry out what all necessary things that need to be done, done to the citizens of at the, about 500 years back. He himself has decentralized the powers, and he made Hobli's Hobli system during that tenure. And each Hobli was entrusted with few responsible persons to look after. The tax system, people-friendly tax system, that reform was bought by him during that tenure, and even how that revenue collector should be spent for the people, that was totally a united decision used to be taken by Kempe Gowda about 500 years back. Uh, especially, we know how his decentralization of his administration, the revenue divisions, uh, Vartur, Halsur, Kengeri, Talgatta, Jigini, Kumbalgod, Hesargatta, so many revenue divisions are there so that each and every small, small issues are identified and it was resolved. Uh, environmental concerns is one of his uh, greatest uh, vision. So many parks in Bangalore, even today in Lal Bagh, we can see a horticulture division. Actually, if, uh, actually it was the visionary thinking of Nada Prabhu Kempe Gowda about 500 years back, even today we can see Lal Bag how it is. How many tanks have been constructed? He has constructed 
not less than 48 tanks at that time. Famous tanks, of course, today tanks are being uh, filled up and uh, real estate people have encroached upon all those things we are seeing at present. But at that time, several tanks, that Kempambudi, Dharmambudi, uh, uh, Halsur Kere, Siddhanakattana Kere, uh, Giddapura Kere, all these th uh, tanks have been, today we, we are seeing scarcity of water. And parts, so many parts was his vision. Planting of trees across Bangalore was one of his initiations that he has taken. Today we are facing all these problems. I think as rightly said by my friend uh, Anand Kumar, the smart city concept Today, we are taking advantage of all the situations and we are telling to the people that this smart city concept is a new concept. But according to me, certainly this smart city concept was innovated by Nada Prabhu Kempe Gowda about five decades back <laughs> and their solution to all the problems in the urban areas has been given by Nada Prabhu Kempe Gowda. Prayasha, Desha the Itiasa Dali, Ivatu Jagatina, Yella Patana Pradesh Dali, Anubhus Tirvanta, Yella Samasagalige, Aidu Deshakagal Hinde, Parihara Sutra on the Kandu Kundanta, Atyanta Dodda Oba Adal Tagara and Hedre, as Nada Prabhu Kempe Gowda and Helena Gauru in the Herbo. Ivatu Dili. Iriti Acharane, Idu Keval Acharane Agudilla. Suresh Hedidru, Nama Baga de Lirvanta, Hudagrana, Avara, Berebere, Aye, Saipias Madon Torik, Sakara Kalagan Kudu, Undubaga de Liadre, Delhi, a Kendra, but Kendra Dinda, Yvatu, now Anubas Tervanta, Nura, Samasegalaga, Avat to Kempeg over a Kandukondanta, a Parihara Sutra Galana, Matte, Yelrigu Dare Erdo, New Mundin Nagale, Iriti Acharanagal and Madidre. Ali, Yaude, Samasegal, Udbo, Aglika Sadiella, a Samasegal and the Parihara Madlika Sadia and Telanta, a Vondu Diseli, a Karakram and Nadi Denton and Bastadene Nuraru Rajar Alir Bodu Hege Akasha Dali, Lakshantar Nakshatrago Drukuda, now Druan Nakshatranta, Gurti the Hage, Karnataka, and Adal Tamada, the Ella Rajar Le, Prasha, Udrua Nakshatra Gidoro, Kempe Gaudrunta and Bastadene. ಈ ಹಿನ್ನೆಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಅವರು ಅನುಸರಿಸಿದಂತ ನೀತಿ ಜಾರಿಗೆ ತಂದ ಆಡಳಿತ ಸುಧಾರಣೆಗಳು ಯೋಜನೆಗಳು ಇದನ್ನು ಇನ್ನಷ್ಟು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಪ್ರಚುರಪಡಿಸುವಂತ ಕೆಲಸ ಕಾರ್ಯಗಳನ್ನ ಮಾಡುವಂತ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಇದೆ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಈ ಶುಭ ದಿನದಿಂದ ಅದು ಪ್ರಾರಂಭವಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ತಮಗೆಲ್ಲ ವನ್ಸಿ ನನ್ನ ಮಾತು ಮುಗಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ಜೈ ಹಿಂದ್ ಜೈ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ Hago Paropo GCC Nanjau to Somi or Pada in the Namaskarse Yrashtada Mahamim Madam Bukurjiro Ganavet Raj Patigle Kinrida Mantigla Danta Gadira Danant Kumar Ore Sadan and Gudre Vedikili Namjate Sahakar Sirta Kanta Putra Jore Rayon Ore Indu E. Karakram del Bago Sirta Kanta Snait Rada Mudan Vagodre Snait Rada Raju Godre E. Karakram del Bago Sirta Kanta Gadia Rada Jetty Devi Godre Hago Nama Rastada Sarvochina Ledama Nai the Shragi Kari Nirvana Madan to Gopal Gordre E. Karikum de la Bago is the Kanti Ella Bandu Buginere Madim the Snate Indu Kempe Gurra National Foundation in the Sureshuru. ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮನ ಯೋಜಿಸಿ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲ ಬರ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮಾಗಡಿ ಕೆಂಪೇ ಗೋಡ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಾಡಪ್ರಭು ಕೆಂಪೇ ಗೋಡ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅವರ ವಂಶದ ಇತಿಹಾಸನ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗಲ್ಲ 
ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಮಟ್ಟದಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ಏರ್ಪಾಡು ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ನಾಡಪ್ರಭು ಕೆಂ ಪಿ ಗೌಡರ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಪದಾಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳಿಗೆ ನಾನು ಅಭಿನಂದನೆ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ಕೆಂಪೇಗೌಡರು ಯಾವ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಕೋನ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ನಗರದ ಗಡಿ ಪ್ರದೇಶವನ್ನು ಗುರುತು ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ನಾವು ಭಾಳ ದೂರ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಅವತ್ತಿನ ಪ್ರಜಾ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆಯೇ ಬೇರೆ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಪ್ರಜಾ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆಯೇ ಬೇರೆ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆಗಳ ಆಗರ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಅದರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಚರ್ಚೆ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಒಬ್ಬ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷನ ಇವತ್ತು ಜ್ಞಾಪಕ್ಕೆ ತಂದು ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಮಟ್ಟದಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರ ವಿಷಯವನ್ನು ತಿಳಿಸ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಒಂದು ವೇ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ನ ವತಿಯಿಂದ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ತುಂಬ ಸಂತೋಷ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಭಾಗವಹಿಸ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕಾಲ ನಿಗದಿ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರಿ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿ ಐದು ನಿಮಿಷ ಮಾತ್ರ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರು ನಾನು ಐದು ನಿಮಿಷಕ್ಕೆ ತಲೆ ಬಾಗ್ತೀನಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಟೈಮಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಲೀಡರ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬ್ಯುಸಿ ಶೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಮೈ ಸಿನ್ಸಿಯರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆನ್ ಬಿಹಾವ್ ದಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಿನ ಇತಿಹಾಸದಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರೇನು ದೃಷ್ಟಿಕೋನ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ರು ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ವಿವರಣೆ ಅದರ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ನನ್ನ ದೃಷ್ಟಿನೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಕನಸಿನ ಮಾತು ಇವತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆ ಏನಿದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಿಗೆ ಕುಡಿಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ನೀರಿಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನು ಬಗೆಹರಿಸುವ ಹೊಣೆಗಾರಿಕೆ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಮೇಲೆ ಇದೆ ಅನಂತ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಅವರಿಂದ ಹಿಡಿದು ಸದಾನಂದ ಗೌಡರಿಂದ ಹಿಡಿದು ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಹೊಣೆಗಾರಿಕೆ ಆ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯದ ಕಡೆ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಗಮನ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಸಾಧ್ಯವಾದರೆ ಮುಂದಿನ ಪೀಳಿಗೆ ಕಷ್ಟಕ್ಕೆ ಈಡಾಗ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಸನ್ನಿವೇಶ ನಾವು ಪಾರಾಗೋಣ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಿ ಕೆಂಪೆ ಗೌಡರು ಕಟ್ಟಿದ ಕೆರೆಗಳಿಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಚರ್ಚೆ ಮಾಡೋದು ಬ ಅಪ್ರಕೃತ ನನಗೆ ತಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಬಂದಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಇಂಬುಗೊಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ತುಂಬ ಸಂತೋಷ ನನಗೆ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾಗವಹಿಸ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಒಂದಾಗಿ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಿನ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆ ಬಗೆಹರಿಸೋಣ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಏರ್ಪಾಡು ಮಾಡಿದಂಥ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಮುಖ್ಯಸ್ಥರು ಸುರೇಶ್ ಅವರು ಅವರ ಸಂಗಡಿಗೆ ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ನಾನು ತುಂಬ ಆಭಾರಿಯಾಗಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ I am indeed happy to have this opportunity of being an institute when you are celebrating two-day national festival of Nazak <coughs> Gavu Kempa Gowda, the founder of Bangalore City. Widely recognized as the founder of Bangalore, Kempa Gowda was a just and human ruler under the Vijayanagar kings. His genius lay in the fact that he could visualize and implement planned urban development that stands out as early as in the 16th century AD. It's a testimony to his genius of Kempegoda that Bangalore despite unprecedented challenges of population exploration traffic and environmental pollution remains the garden city of india today kempegowda visualized building a city that would house a military cantonment water tanks temples and provide employment to tradesmen. He approached the Vijayanagar king for the requisite permission and laid the foundations 
for what would become Bangalore city in 1532. <clears throat> this planned city had eight access gates and wide roads and the settlement spread across present day Avenue Road, Al Sur, Yelanka, Kiar Market, and Malaysianam. Kempegowda built a number of tanks and ensured the just and equitable collection of revenues and taxes. Agriculturists and traders could operate without fear under his rule. Ladies and gentlemen, as a mark of respect to Kempegowda, the central government named Bengaluru Airport as Kempegowda International Airport. A metal statue to commemorate the founder of Bangalore has been installed at Corporation Circle in Bengaluru, where it overlooks the bustling metropolis that has grown from the disparate hamlets which Kempegowda once ruled. However, Bangalore today faces several challenges of unbridled urbanization, be it rising temperature in a city that was once known for its air-conditioned climate, gridlocked traffic, or our stretched civic infrastructure. These are areas of grave concern. Both government and citizens of the city are to collectively address these issues for their resolutions to the best benefit of the people living in that metropolis. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad to learn that Nada Prabhu Kempagoura Foundation, founded on 17th April last year by His Holiness, Jagat Guru Sri Sri Nirmalananda Swamiji is working towards popularizing Nadi Prabhu Kempe Gouda. Apart from other works that is being done, it is only be logical if the foundation takes up the challenge of preserving Kempe Gouda's heritage in the shape of Bangalore. It has the support of many individuals and who are present here, and all of whom may not be present here, persons like Anand Kumar, Sadhanand Gouda, blessed by the former Chief Minister, H.D. Deve Gouda, members of Parliament, State Ministers, and many others. If such an organization takes up the task of participatory development of Bangalore, along with its citizens, there is no reason why it cannot be implemented. I extend all my good wishes to the aspirations which you have displayed in organizing this two days festival. I wish them all success and Godspeed. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind.